Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today here at Two World Thunder TV. Uh, again, we're in Black Canyon City, Arizona, in the home of Sonny Barger and Z, who've been gracious enough to open their home out to us to come and talk and view the film, Dead in Five Heartbeats, which is this. This is what you've got to go see. Joining us today is Jeff Black, who plays the lead character in the film, Dead in Five Heartbeats, Patch Kincaid. Patch, brother. <laughs> Appreciate you joining us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Nice to be here. We just had the honor of watching the show, almost like a private screening. Uh, you've done a great job of portraying the leader in this, this role. How did you come about developing that and, and becoming that persona and doing it in such a great way? Well, first off, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Uh, how I became, uh, uh, how I learned um, everything. I, I, I was given the pleasure of uh, uh, spending a lot of time with Sonny. Uh, and in doing so, I get to learn uh, more of how a leader uh, uh, runs, uh, not just uh, uh, a, a club, but it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's not just uh, something you turn on and turn off. It's something you are and you become. And then uh, I also had an opportunity to uh, work uh, during the movie uh, alongside a lot of people in the club and uh, uh, learned a lot more about um, these guys know who they are. Uh, uh, they're, they're definitive on their being and what they're about and their freedom and their independence uh, means more to them than anything else in this world. And uh, it, having freedom doesn't mean that you don't have a care in the world. Actually, with freedom comes uh, probably uh, more stringent rules and regulations that you hold a higher level of uh, uh, aptitude that you have to hold yourself to uh, internally, not for anyone else, but for yourself. And uh, if there's anything I walked away with from uh, from uh, working on this uh, film, uh, that would probably be the most valuable right there. Well, you play the character very well, and you've had some good schooling with regards to the teachers with Sonny and that you've got a great executive director uh, with Jeff Santo. You have brought reality and authenticity to a film and to a lifestyle that so many times Hollywood cheapens and betrays and misrepresents in a negative way. And you've shown some integrity, some honor, and respect that these individuals have, not for not only each other, but for other individuals. Now, you worked real close with Sonny on this. How did y'all get this teamwork going? I mean, that has to be a, a wealth of information there. Yeah, this this is this is really Sonny Barber's movie. I mean, everyone came forward because of Sonny. You know, he put a call out there to all the motorcycle clubs here in Arizona, and uh, also in California, people came from everywhere and made this happen for Sonny, mm -hmm. and gave gave everything really and uh, made it authentic. We shot in real clubhouses. You know, so every clubhouse in this movie is authentic. Um, Nobody would have access to that without no, Sonny. No, no, no. That would just, be a good way to kill by doing yeah. something. <laughs> you know, you just, don't come in here and shoot film. Oh, <laughs> you think so? And then you can shoot the film and carry your body out. But. The respect factor was very high in this film. Uh, and I told the crew that, you know, this is their world. They're, they're opening their doors to us. And uh, let's make Sonny proud. And uh, I hope we did that. And. It really started from the top there, and I just wanted to make sure that uh, we got everything done that we needed to get done. Uh, Sonny came to me, uh, said, can we make this film happen? Uh, what do you think about adapting my book, my novel, Dead in Five Heartbeats? And I said, yeah, let's give it a try. And we raised the money ourselves, we put in our own money. And so this was 100% truly an independent film on every level possible. You were able to bring in other clubs, and Sonny was able to bring all these people together? And that's an amazing feat to bring all the different lifestyles together, to work together collectively. And all of them were writers. You didn't go to Hollywood and just, you know, check off the actors, go, okay, we want this, blah, blah, blah. You, re you recruited real bikers for this. I mean, real life bikers. And your lead character, uh, Patch DK, Jeff Black, is an actual motorcycle rider himself. That kind of authenticity brings legitimate reputation and respect to what you're doing. Phenomenal. Yeah, this this film, Hollywood couldn't make this film. No. First of all, there's no. the unions, the, the yeah. insurance policies, they, they couldn't 
get something like this off the ground. I mean, they put stunt riders on their bikes. Mm -hmm. um, all the riders in this film, it's, it's authentic. It's what you see out there is, is happening. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't have any any stunt guys getting on the bikes. Uh, you know, we went out there and just got on the freeways and, and, and did it and shot it. And, um, you know, that brought so much to the film. To, to say that everything about this film in the motorcycle culture is authentic um, really speaks for what, what this movie is about. And really the acting, too. Uh, you know, there's about, like Sonny said, there's about seven true actors in this film, and they're all friends of mine. I didn't want to bring <laughs> someone in who I didn't know, because uh, you bring someone that, that thinks they're above everyone else, we're going to have a problem in this environment, because, you know, this, this was their world, and uh, the, club, the club's world. So, to me, uh, you know, I worked with a lot of the club members. Uh, we go to their clubs to work on the scenes. Patch and I would go out there to go to their homes. You know, uh, Chico and I worked on, on on his his scenes for about a good month before we started. So there's a lot of preparation that went into this film too. You've written this novel now, and Jeff Santo has made it into a movie, and the lead actor is Jeff Black. Uh, watching the film in your home today. Uh, this film has a sense of authenticity to it, ladies and gentlemen, that no other film, no other biker show that I've ever seen, and I've seen them all, uh, and been exposed to them all, brings to this. And part of that is because of you. Well, the one thing you, uh, I'm not so sure it's all me, but other than about five or eight actors in the movie, Everybody you see in the movie is a club member in a club in Arizona. And not just Arizona, some people came out from California and New York also to participate in it. But I should say the closing scene, the funeral scene, when you see that, there's 250 to 300 motorcycles there. Everybody there is a motorcycle rider and our motorcycle enthusiasts, whatever you want to call them, but a hardcore one, not a Saturday night or a Sunday ride or an everyday ride. And all through the whole movie, other than, like we say, the, the few actors you see, other than uh, Jeff Black, who plays Patch, that you see all the time, you only see an actor for a minute, other than Del Rocco, who is, uh, major part of the movie and uh, sort of towards the end, uh, Nine Inch. There are the two actors that have a little time in it along with Chuck Black has a full movie in it. Everybody else is a motorcycle enthusiast. Now everything uh, is allegedly fictional in the movie, but it's all based on things that's either happened or has been witnessed happen uh, by the individuals in the show. So as you watch the show, you're looking at, at something that's based off of a novel, of alleged things that have happened. Uh, now, although there's been some embellishments mm -hmm. to protect the guilty. <laughs> to protect the guilty. Uh, but you're absolutely correct about the freedom that you have. Uh, your club and the organizations that you represent and all the people that admire you credit you and your groups for kind of establishing the ground rules and laying the foundations for what we now know uh, as motorcycle riding together as people, as, as, as brothers, as we call them. And we owe a great debt to what you have paid the price for. And I know a lot of your friends have, have paid the ultimate price for that, for that freedom and just standing up for that freedom. Uh, and in a lot of ways, society doesn't understand that. What was the hardest thing for you in writing the book and making this movie? Did you have memories of your friends or, or what was it? And you've got 50 plus years of memories and stories. We, we could videotape till tomorrow and we wouldn't get them all down. Why did you pick these particular stories? It's uh, hard to say I've wrote six books and dead in five heartbeats as a continuation book called Six Chambers, One Bullet. If we're able to sell this and make enough money that we can make another movie, then we'll have a follow-up called Six Chambers, One Bullet. However, 
uh, why I chose this is I, uh, I write books about what I know, what I've lived. We got a pit block. That's all right. <laughs> that makes it all thick. That's going to make it a very valuable bike. Ladies and gentlemen, we're wrapping things up now. Everything's coming to a close. We've been at the home today of Sonny and Z Barger here in Black Canyon City, Arizona, as their guests. It's been an honor. We've watched the movie, Dead in Five Heartbeats. We encourage you to come out and see that. Sonny, it's been an honor to work with you and be with you today. And uh, on the behalf of a bunch of my guys uh, that could not be here today, that served in the United States Marine Corps and other branches of the service, I'd like to present you uh, with a, one of our Marine Corps Challenge coins. Uh, it's my rank coin. Uh, my Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks. You're more than welcome. It's from all our men that served, that would do anything in the world to stand here with you and to support you and what you're doing for your fight for freedom and your brother's fight for freedom and all those guys that didn't get to come home. And we appreciate what you're doing. We appreciate the guys that you pulled together to pull this off. And so when you look at that coin and you remember the Marine Corps and you remember all the guys who served with me and all the guys who came before me and all the guys that will come a long time after both you and I both are gone, uh, they help us do what we do. But we appreciate what you guys do too. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Two Wheel Thunder TV, we encourage you to be a part of supporting Dead in Five Heartbeats.com. Go see the show. Be a part of it. Go on Sonny's website. You can find him at SonnyBarger.com. He's got books, stuff. He'll autograph them, make them out to you personally. Get involved. Be a part of the, uh, the project. It's a lot of fun. Sonny, thank you for letting us come to your home. Real honor. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.